Now, obviously, all our planes kind of have two wings, and if you lose one, things will go wrong very quickly. This is the 737, and it won't be happy with this. We can go for power. Only one engine works, though, the right one, because the other one is also normally on the left wing, which is gone, meaning that there's no way to even take off at all, because we just turn left because of our right engine usage. And yet, of course, spawning into midair looks like this. This plane is not happy, and it doesn't fly well at all. In fact, this plane is screaming at us, and these lights go on. Talking about these lights, check out the brand new Swiss Scissor One store in the description and get your hands onto the most prestigious aviation merch in the industry. I mean, look at those lights, and they make sounds too. Buy now, and it will definitely arrive before Christmas. While airliners clearly don't like having having their wings cut off and will lead to a crew crash. This plane, on the other hand, does not care at all. Everybody, this is the F-15 fighter jet. A plane that has flown like this before. Yes, in 1983, an Israeli Air Force F-15 had a mid-air collision with another plane and that sheared off the right wing entirely. You can see that. But despite that, the airplane was able to land safely, which is just insane. So today, I really want to see, is that true? Do fighter jets only need one wing to fly and one? Why? Now, this is the boring configuration. The F-15 with its beautiful afterburners coming on. The flaps are out and this airplane obviously can fly without any problems. So let's make some. And I guess we're gonna start off a little bit small right here. Let's start to like dissect the right wing a little bit. I'm gonna cut off right here, pretty much half of this right wing and see if this plane can still fly. Now, this is a bit of a problem because as you can see, we have one of the aileron surfaces on that right wing. That we are going to remove and this is what that looks like right now we have that right wing pretty much sheared off now I, this is a little bit of a bug this shouldn't happen i mean the flaps still work and we still have a lot of flight controls left which is definitely part of the reason why this airplane can probably still kind of fly let's go full power uh, and these afterburner engines and this is a good thing as well these engines are so powerful that they themselves create lift just as well as the entire body itself as well so let's see we probably will we will we notice anything at all oh yeah okay we do never mind. oh oh yeah never mind we do oh my goodness okay this airplane is very much uh, veering to the right now if i let go of the controls this airplane looks like this but still somehow whoa hey 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 it's immensely controllable we can put the landing gear up and if i just steer against that using some aileron and some rudder. This airplane still perfectly flies. <laughs> actually, I don't even need rudder now. I think I can just trim out the plane and now it flies perfectly. This is actually hilarious. We can put the flaps up. Now, of course, the stru structural integrity of this plane is now a little bit minimized, but we are able to even now go supersonic speeds, which is why in front of the airplane, we can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, look at these engine intakes right here. This is basically like a flying rocket. And a flying rocket does not have wings either, and it still creates lead. This airplane just doesn't care. We have no sound unless we go behind the plane. All right, so let's spawn into midair. Right wing is partly gone. So like this happens in midair now. And yeah, of course we bang to the right, but we when we give in full power into the afterburners, this airplane still continues to fly very nicely. This, this is hilarious. And this is really what saved the F-15 in the Israeli Air Force case. The two powerful afterburners. So much power that the airplane's able to level out. Now, there's one important thing that we have to remember, though. This airplane now needs a lot of speed to properly fly. Which, you know, we can do. We can just maybe land on a runway right here. Uh, I just really want to go quickly, but that is fine. Let's go ahead and, yep. Oh, it's doing a nice landing. Do a nice landing. We're obviously flying a little bit sideways but look we're now so nicely above the runway we can probably just touch it oh, oh, oh okay there we go yeah, yeah yeah all fine let's go ahead and stop this plane now come on as you can see the huge air brake of the f-15 comes up and the problem is this airplane does not have reverse thrust and so we actually do overrun now but that is fine this is definitely even this is a survivable overrun especially into the water uh so we just go for a little bit of a drink Oh, that's not too good. Everybody, as predicted, the third plane flew well. But what if we really make it like that case in Israel? We cut a line right here, removing not only the wing, but also the right flap surface, which is probably why I don't want to use flaps for the next takeoff. Now, to be cooked or not to be cooked is the question. This is the F-15, and it's clearly not doing well because it doesn't have a right wing. In fact, this really much looks like the case we're talking about. I mean, the only thing that's really still attached is this right 
engine. So let's go full power and take a look. Does this airplane fly at all? Uh, or take off at all. I mean, taking off is quite hard if you're missing a proper wing, but we might be able to pull it off. It just looks very weird. So I'm flying this plane on an outside view, and I'm really curious. So we have to steer against this? Okay. Uh, that hasn't worked. Clearly, we should try again, but a little bit more carefully. I mean, that one pile made it. So let's try that again. All right, okay. Maybe let's not take off with flaps. I think that is what killed us, actually. Put the flaps up, because then we have more asymmetry from the flap. Oh, right. No chance. God damn it. You know what? I refuse to give up. I want to try this again. Maybe now in the cockpit view, so I can have best concentration here. So, oh, okay, look at this. So, I want to reach a good amount of speed before even thinking about lifting off at all. Come on, like 204. Look, this is now really fast, and this is what we need. Well, you know, as I mentioned before, taking off is the part of flying where you have the biggest problem with asymmetrical wings. Let's go ahead and try this again now, removing the right wing entirely, but while flying in midair, just like in real life, where the plane collided with a Cessna. So let's do this. Uh, all right, all right, okay, okay, so we're spinning, which is fine. We just need to give in full power and see if we can somehow stabilize the aeroplane. Come on, actually, this is pretty hopeless. Come on, full power. Well then, there's only one way to still make this airplane fly. Cut off the left wing partly as well. You know what? This might generally help a little bit. We just cooked our airplane a little bit more, but we removed a bit of that uh, left wing as well. Let's go and put that last little <laughs> tiny flap. Oh, this is sad, but let's see. We should probably be able to fly maybe, maybe a little, maybe. You know what? Once again, we've got so much rocketry-esque lift coming from that afterburnerged engine that we actually are able to gain uh, that we are actually, we should fly, come on. Go full power, you can do it. Yes, very nice, very nice, very nice. I'm gonna be in cockpit view, just so that I can react very well to what are this plane's doing. I want a lot of speed. Don't lift up now. This airplane controls, I have pretty much no control over it. No proper control, at least. Uh-oh, don't mess up. That's fine, it's fine. It's not fun. You know what? Maybe there is still too much asymmetry. Maybe we should do this, ladies and gentlemen. This is an airplane without any wings, and chances are it actually might fly better. We now have no asymmetry. It's just bad on both ends. So let's see. Maybe we can fly. These engines are very powerful after all. So come on. Go, go, go. Move, move, move. This is good. Uh-oh. This is not... Wait. Lol. That's actually insane. No, no, no. Wait. We are able to... Wait. This plane just took off magically. Now, I have pretty much no control over it. I mean, we only have this left. And this airplane does not have thrust vectoring, unlike maybe an F-22 would have or something like that. So we are literally, we're dying. Hey. Somehow, though, this worked a lot better than I thought. This looks like a chicken now, like a Minecraft chicken. Like a lost Minecraft chicken right there. Hey, I mean, genuinely, I'm kind of surprised this kind of worked as well as it does. Yes, after all, we've got so powerful engines that this works. Now, would this work practically in real life? Definitely not. After all, this airplane now has no wings and no wing tanks, so no fuel tanks. Um, hey, but maybe, just maybe, we can just somehow gain control. Uh, at least we don't spiral out of it, so something we can do is uh, eject. Come, let me eject. Let me, let me get out. Ah. Just like that. Yep. And now we're out of the airplane. And so, uh, looks, looks like it's, it's gonna crash, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Somebody, the F-15 doesn't need as much wings as you might think. It would be very interesting to try this project on an airliner that has a relatively similar build. The Concorde. That is, I guess, in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.